bien, monsieur le capitaine. We are Götz and Madeline, a married couple from Germany trying to be on a safe and responsible tour around the world despite all of us living through a pandemic. The first few weeks of our around the world tour we were traveling by our Ural motorcycle Olga. She took us all the way from Berlin to the south of France. Here we exchanged our helmets with sailor caps to take on an incredible boat journey, first through the Carmack region on the Canal du Rhône said, crossing the giant lagoon Etang de Tau, and followed by the historic route on the Canal du Midi. We traveled at a slow floating pace really enjoying the enormous changes in landscape, architecture, food and wine along the way. What a different way to travel! Join us and check out the passing scenery! Welcome back! We haven't seen each other for quite a while. Um, maybe you're wondering why we're looking a little disheveled today. But today is a real tough working day. We want to take you along with us on the boat on a real adventure. A real adventurous day we're planning today and you will see why. We are sitting at the Canal du Midi and we are sitting here at and one of hot. the yes it's hot it's really <laughs> one of the absolute highlights of this canal du midi constructed in the mid 1600s the uh, staircase lock staircase 
or lock stairs um, are the absolute technical highlight of this canal. Um, it's a series of seven locks and you're just going from one lock to the next and to the next until you descend it some 20 meters from the height of the canal where so we actually, are right now. We are going down a hill or a mountain even today with the boat. Incredible. We did this already on the way going up here. But had no time to make photos. No, it no absorbed time. us absolutely. It was crazy. And downwards seems to be much easier. Hopefully we'll see about that. Yeah, uh, yeah, and we'll take you with us. And it's still very hot. But at least there is a little bit of shade today, whereas on the way going up, I mean, we were in blank sun. It was really, really, and like 35 degrees, it was crazy. Anyway, yes, we hope you're gonna enjoy it as much as we do. It's really an incredible highlight uh, here. And um, yeah, we'll show you around. See you then. So these are actually the last people coming uphill through the lock and once they are really through they will close the lock again and then it is actually time for everybody to go down. Or not we did make it nicely through the lock everything went fine I think we did a very good job and um, we just went like a few hundred meters after after the lock and um, all of a sudden this horrible sound comes up like <coughs> not, good. not good not at all which is never a very good sign. No, so we checked it out and it looks like something is broken with the cooling water. So we just had to find ourselves a nice spot right on the side. And um, yeah. Now we call the mechanics. They will probably come whenever they find the time. Until then we are laying idle and uh, well, enjoy the nice day. Yay! Happy us! <laughs> See you later, we'll keep you posted! So it's always a good idea to just make some coffee. So, the lady from the next boat service station just called us. That was the second person we talked to now. And um, yeah, apparently she'll talk to the maintenance people, to the engineers, and then she'll get back to us. So let's see how many hours or days or weeks this will take and where we can still get today. So while we wait, we just have some coffee and some Tart Mirabelle. circuit running again so the intake is clocked 
So you can do it now, that's no problem. And then and, and, um, please send your uh, engineer right now, because until he is here, um, the motor, the engine will have cooled down enough. So I can't drive. Okay, mm -hmm. Yes, I know that you cannot drive, but the, te the technician will come after. Yeah, after okay, what? We'll after wait maybe one hour. No, 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 no. One hour to send him. Send him right now. Send him right and now. now can, I cannot send Why? the technician, and uh, you, because the the engine is too hot. No, it, the the engine isn't too hot. That's uh, below hundred it's right now. Only one hundred and ten degrees. It was it know? was one hour ago. It was one hour ago. So in the in the meantime, it's below hundred. Uh, and uh, I can check it again if you would like. Uh, just wait a second, and I uh, check the uh, the engine temperature. So in the meantime, one hour has passed, and the engine has cooled down. And right now it's with 85. So it would be a very good idea to send your mechanic right now. Can you do this, please, for us? I will check. Okay, with the technician. I'm not uh, the person who decides. Okay, <laughs> I will check. With you. Okay. 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 You yeah. Yeah. Thank you. This will take hours. They don't have, I don't know, they don't like to come. The engineer takes a break in the afternoon. It's too hot. <laughs> yeah, something like this. <laughs> yeah, it's too hot for us too. Should I prepare something for dinner already? No, no. <laughs> Et quand je vous peux aider, euh, tu mets, euh, vous, vous mettez. Pas de problème. Par contre, il va falloir faire attention. Je vais enlever les escaliers. Oui. Ouais. Je vais regarder d'abord si je peux. Vous avez tout ce qu'il vous faut là-haut parce que vous serez coincé. Hein. Bon, je vais voir. It was a hard day. What a day, I tell you. We finally arrived in... Port Casafier. Port Casafier. And, um, and actually, uh, we took off this morning at like a little before nine o'clock, I think, or nine yes. o'clock sharp, something around that. Oh, 9.30, yeah. No, it wasn't 9.30. So anyway, and we just arrived like now, which is after eight actually. And um, and now we just want to go and eat something and then we'll tell you the rest about it. See you later. And of course, the restaurant we actually wanted to go to is already full. And due to Corona, of course, they cannot fill they cannot fill all. Yes. So, everybody, as you can see, we look different, and that's because we couldn't finish the vlog yesterday. But now we are relaxed 
which we have not been yesterday evening. No, I mean, Murphy's Law kind of really kicked in. We, like we said already, we tried to go to this one restaurant, that one was full, so we went to another one, which is a little bit farther away. And once we got there, we wanted to actually finish off the vlog and I tried to on the camera and what happened was that the battery just yeah, <laughs> died on us right there. And then we had the camera backup of my phone, which we wanted to use, but we couldn't use it because the road coming back was a non-paved... Unlit road, dark as... And there was horse poop all along the way. So we decided to not take the phone as a camera, but to take the phone as a light. Because otherwise we would have somehow probably covered ourselves <laughs> in horse poop. So anyhow, after also waiting there for like, I don't know, an hour or more to get our food. There um, are only two restaurants here at this place and a lot of camping grounds around plus all the boating people and due to the corona they cannot really fill up their restaurants so if you don't have a reser uh, reservation they don't won't let you in or you get so lucky that you get the last table and then they have not enough stuff and 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 which ends up you're waiting yeah. and when we were back on the boat of course we didn't want to turn the light on in order not to have mosquitoes all over the place so we decided to just call it a day come back to you today and let you know what happened yesterday i mean it was very adventurous we had a lot of fun but it was exhausting too i doubt about the fun well i uh, well there was fun too <laughs> well some fun aspects, yes. Some fun aspects, but exactly. in the end, this engine failure costed us three full hours, which made our time schedule so tight. Um, and the last lock that we need to, to get uh, to, re, uh, to, to come to our uh, port... They closed at 7 and, and we, we were reached there 2 to 7. It yes. was crazy. The guy was like... Ah! Yeah, so... Um, but we made it through this lock and finally reached this port that we wanted to reach. This is one of the home ports of the boat company, so we get a free refill of our diesel tank, uh, get free uh, stay overnight, free water, free electricity. Uh, free electricity. So we needed to go there to fill up all our resources. And the dying batteries. So, <laughs> so, but we managed yesterday, I mean, we really did it. We managed this whole scale of locks and then we also managed um, the, 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 I don't know, how many other locks, three or four? Well, this is, there like was that. that lock stairs it's and then another yeah. four locks, yes. Yeah, so it was just. It is a one of the busy uh, parts of the trip because you have to make them all in one step because there is no real place where you can stay overnight in between this uh, whole stretch. So, so it was a day with... Exactly, a lot of muscle work and we hope that you enjoyed it a bit, taking you along and uh, showing you some of the pictures. Um, if you did like it, leave us a like um, on the bottom of this video, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to our website, um, come back, travel with us. We are very happy to take you along and um, yeah, thanks a lot and hope to see you soon again. Bye! Bye.